November 1968, the report of children trapped in the building. Those things you remember like they were yesterday. I said, you got to go, and I'm going. I said, she's in there. Chaos. People are running all over the place. And I'm feeling, and I knew the crib was against the wall by the bedroom door. And I was standing right next to the crib. The crib was right here. I said, she's right here. Her little arms were like back this way, and she had a diaper on, I remember, and she was out like a light. You could see my whole face, and you can see the baby's face, and I'm like this far away. And I'm taking a breath to give her a breath. I was just praying that he brought her back. Because when I realized she wasn't breathing, I mean, he was like frantic. He was really working hard to save her. Wow. Like, this is me? <laughs> After 9-11 and all the fire things that was going on, I said, now I really got to find this man. I've got to find this man. I just didn't want him to leave the earth or I leave the earth without saying thank you. When I met Maria at the meeting, um, she was, you know, we were talking about one story, and I said, you know, there's something maybe you can help me with. Right now, we are headed to Roxbury to meet uh, retired firefighter William Carroll. It's Du Bois Street, Du Bois. We have to find Du Bois Street. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so nervous. Mom, get to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god how are you guys how are you i'm fine i'm 40 years old now you most certainly it's wonderful <laughs> to see you it really is it's wonderful to see and, you and thank you so much for remembering me thank you thank you so much thank you son's a great basketball <laughs> player he's a lot bigger than you though and who's this lady? Oh, I'm nice to see mama. you. So how are you? I got your picture at home. You had the checker thing on. I want. We want to give you this, a beautiful card, and you're our teddy bear. Hey, I you to have this. Mary, look at this. <laughs> oh, that's we awful so nice of you. Grateful. Had it not been for you, oh, I would not you. be here today. We well, we got lucky, so Evangeline. Much. You know, sometimes you get lucky. Today was, that day was a good day, you know. We, I, I'm sort of flabbergasted by the whole thing. Because this that usually doesn't happen to people, you know. Not after 40 years. Life hasn't always been easy, but I can truly say that I didn't take life for granted. You know, we did a good thing that day. I, I think we did a good thing that day. And I hope I give her a shot. <laughs>